Hey, it's Josephine from The Point Shop. I'm in Bozeman, Montana today. I'm doing a pointy fitting for Megan. We're gonna be working on getting over on top of your box. Um, Megan has tendonitis on her left ankle, so it's very difficult for her to get all the way over on her point shoes. Uh, this is a very common injury, and it's a very common problem with dancers because it's an overuse injury. So it's very easy to have this, um, the tendonitis. But if you have shoes that are pulling you back, it could irritate the tendonitis even more. So we're gonna look at the shoes that she's currently in right now and what it's doing, and um, to try to find her a point shoe that she is getting over on her box a little bit easier so that she's not straining her Achilles even further. Okay, so stand up for me. In a lot of point shoe fittings, the, the fitter will keep giving you softer and softer point shoes if they see that you're having trouble getting over on top of your box, but that's not always the solution because even though she's in a really, really soft shoe, you're gonna see really quickly how difficult it is for her to get over. Step up off your point for me. So it's pulling her back quite a bit, but not only that, she is, um, also sickling. You start to sickle a little bit more when it's difficult for you to get over on top of your box because you're trying to find a way around your ankles to get on top of your box subconsciously. So she's sickling right here and she's having difficulty getting over. Come down for me and then can you go into parallel? Step up onto point. And the main problem with this particular shoe is the shape. Um, as you can see, if you look at the point shoe, it's very, very tapered. Um, Megan does have tapered toes and she has pretty long toes, but um, it's almost pulling her back because the shape is not correct. And it's um, a really low profile, which means that the shoe is really, really low like this. So really the only place that she's able to balance is that little tiny surface area um, at the back of her platform, and that's not very much to balance on, so it's gonna be more difficult for her to balance on her point shoes. It's gonna be harder for her to um, relax her, her Achilles when it's getting strained. Come down for me. And you can really tell the difference between her left and her right in this shoe. Back out to first position. Um, and if you can look at her point shoes from the side, you can see that her foot is kind of bubbling over a little bit. So the shoe is really, really squeezing her and not, um, it's not allowing her to push all the way over. So one, we're gonna change the shape of her um, box and that should help her get over a little bit better. She's still gonna have a little bit of difficulty getting over, but it's not gonna be as bad as this. So we're gonna switch um, shoes today. Take those off for me. If you have a point shoe that's pulling you back, it can irritate a lot of things. So if, you're, if you are having trouble getting over your point shoes or if your point shoes are making you sickle, um, it's probably gonna be really difficult for you to get over and kind of recover from that injury. Also, if you're learning to sickle in your point shoes and if you're not getting over, you're also teaching your brain that's where you're supposed to balance. So you're learning to balance in the incorrect spot. So you definitely want to get to the center of the box as much as, you, as, much as possible. Okay, so go ahead and put those on for me. So we're gonna change the box shape completely. So I'm gonna raise the, the crown, the, the height of the shoe, and I'm also going to make the platform a little bit wider so it's gonna be a little bit more square. Or this is the foot that is having a lot of problems. This has the tendonitis. So even when she goes up on point, you can really see that she leans towards her right. Um, so we wanna make sure that um, we're pulling her back towards the left again so that she is centered as well. Step up onto both. Very nice. So even though this is still having a little bit of trouble getting over, she's getting over much better. It gives her a little bit more room in her box so that she's able to actually push over. As long as the box is not too big and she's not sinking, I'd rather have her uh, have a little bit more space so that she can get over a little better. And this part right here, she's not bubbling over her shoes anymore because the crown is high enough so that it gives her enough um, room there. So if you look at her shoes before, you can see that it was, it was very, very tapered. Um, it has very small, it has a very small surface area, and um, it's a very low profile like this. So it's really, it's really flat, and it's really tapered, and she wasn't able to push all the way through. So she was really back here in her point shoes. Um, even though this is a softer shank than what I just put her in, she's able to get over these a little bit better because the box shape is different. Uh, come back out to first position. And her sickling's much less severe now that she's in a shoe that she's getting over a little bit better in. 
Yes, so she is sickling much less. She's getting over, and she has a much bigger surface area now to balance, so her balance is, um, balance is going to be a lot easier. It's not going to irritate her tendonitis as much, and she's gonna have a lot easier time recovering from her injury because she's not struggling to get over her shoes as much. So we're gonna keep an eye on her left ankle from here on out, make sure that she is not irritating it further. If you have tendonitis or if you just have trouble getting over on your point shoes, a different box is not always the answer. Sometimes you do need a softer shank and sometimes you need a three quarter shank or sometimes you need a harder shank or sometimes you just need to have a more tapered or wider box or whatever it may be. So the solution for tendonitis is not always there's not just one solution for tendonitis or getting over your point shoes. So I'm gonna keep doing the series of helping you getting over your point shoes and prevent injuries um, because it's different for every person. But for Megan specifically, we had to change the, the box shape. And if you have any questions about your point shoes, if you have any problems on point, if you're suffering any injuries or pain, leave that on the comments. Make sure to subscribe and uh, we'll see you next time.